come on, guys. So, obviously, this is not where a front bumper is supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the front of a vehicle, obviously. But today, I'm going to reattempt to uh, do something that I tried to do before that completely and utterly failed at. So, I'm going to try again, see if I can do it. If not, whatever. I guess, uh, I guess I'll try it again later for a third time. I'm going to try to do the wrap that covers up right here. And it will go all the way around. Obviously, the bumper is extremely dirty. Um, it's been raining a ton out here in California lately. So, getting the car wash, not really, you know, not necessary for the time being. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and obviously clean it off with some uh, soapy water solution. Uh, wipe it down real good. I do have to take the grill out first um, in order to do this. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that started real quick. Um, and I'll show you guys what uh, what it's going to be afterwards. Okay, so now that the grill is out and everything is nice and cleaned off, <clears throat> I'm going to start to try and uh, get this thing wrapped. Uh, well, first, obviously, I need to go around the edge of it with some tape. Um, I tried to use the knifeless tape last time, and it failed miserably. So I'm going to try to do it uh, another way. Um, I got some blue painter's tape. I'm going to try to do it that way. I don't know if it's going to work, but like I said, you know, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to try and uh, I'll probably be replacing this bumper anyway. Not in the near future, I'd say probably next few months. Um, I'm going to try to do a 2018 WRX front bumper and grill, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, I'm going to just try this one and go from there. So uh, I'm going to start with the masking process and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. And there we are. We are all masked off. It's kind of a rough masking on the top. It didn't want to really stick too well. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and try to do the vinyl. So this ought to be fun. I will uh, show you guys periodically what it's looking like. Like I said, I failed at this twice. So this is number three. Getting kind of tired of uh, buying vinyl over and over again. But whatever. You know what? That's It's trial and error. That's all it is. That's all you can do is just keep trying. So never give up. Um, all right, I'm going to try it. And I'll, like I said, I'll show you guys periodically what it looks like. I cannot tell you how stressful this is. <laughs> so I got the vinyl laid down. I'm just going around the top first. Um, work my way from the center all the way around. The sides. Down the bottom. Dad, I love you. Love you too, buddy. And uh, just kind of go from there. But it's going to be a slow process, but I really hope it turns out good this time. <laughs> last time I actually didn't have... Um, last time I didn't have the felt tip um, applicator. Now I do, so hopefully this time there's not a lot of scratches in it. I mean, that was one of the reasons why last time um, I tore it off, because it was just totally scratched up. But so far, not so bad. So I'm going to keep going at it, and uh, I'll show you guys here in a few minutes what, uh, once I get the border done, I'll give you guys a better idea what it's going to look like. This has got to be the most difficult part so far. And it, it got me the first time around, and the second time around, and now the third time around. <clears throat> this corner sucks straight up horrible so it took a long time and a lot of heat and a lot of you know using the, the felt tip squeegee um yeah so just a warning if you guys try to attempt this yourself that corner is going to be the worst thing you've ever experienced so i'm gonna keep going just thought i'd give you guys a heads up and uh update where we where we stand so there it is. There is the outline. Um, I had a little bit of extra um, material. That happened the first time, but I was actually able to stretch it, make it work. Um, don't worry about the top, because I mean, obviously the line's gonna be cut, but that's what it's gonna look like. Now I gotta work on the center. Um, kind of a tip if you're gonna do it. I use, well, I, I would cut the center of it, um, but it left marks and corner like uh, openings that you could see with blue right here in the corners. So I'm going to try to stretch it as best I can. Um, I know when I pulled and stretched it, there's little stretch marks that you might be able to see, might not. You know, from a distance, you probably won't be able to see it, but if you go up close and look at it, you will. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible, but if it happens, it happens. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, I'm going to be more nervous about cutting and trimming. Uh, but I've had that painter's tape underneath there, so hopefully it should, you know, protect the paint at least a little bit. I've got some really uh, fresh razor blades um, that I'll be doing the cutting with. So far, so good, though. Um, so I'm going to keep going at it, and uh, 
I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, once I stretch the center and start to trim. So there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Outline's done. I, I'm, you know, I had to heat it up pretty good to get it to conform to that section there. Um, but I'm gonna start cutting now because that top portion is just not stretching enough. So I'm gonna cut it, see what happens, and then go from there. And I gotta get a fresh blade to uh, do the outline. So wish me luck. So update. Basically got it done. Now it's the excruciating part of getting these lines cut clean. That is going to be tough. But you can see what it's looking like already. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a stressful ass job. I'm not even gonna lie. I probably won't ever do this again unless somebody, you know, really, 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 really wants me to, but oh God. So on to the excruciatingly hard and probably gonna scratch the crap out of my bumper, but thank God I'm probably gonna get a new one here in the next few months. Anyway, part of the job. So just wanted to give you guys a visual update to see what it's uh, looking like. Man, that was a lengthy process. I swear I've been at it for at least three and a half to four hours. Um, the lines, they're okay. Uh, from a distance, you really can't tell that the top line looks kind of like garbage, but other than that, it's done. I, I can't believe I did it. It was actually pretty hard, but uh, I think it turned out uh, awesome. I mean, it definitely does change up the front bumper a ton. Um, there's a couple of little spots on the top. I'll even show you. I had to add a little bit of a piece to kind of cover up a couple of cuts that I made incorrectly. But other than that, I mean, from a distance, you really can't tell. And I think it looks awesome. So um, thank you guys so much. And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. This is something that I've, I have on my list of things that I was going to try to do. Um, you know, and it took a while, but I finally got it done. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. So thank you guys for all the support. Uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and, like, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. Bye.